Hello again, welcome to Over the Hill Outdoors. I'm making this short video to expand on some information I provided in my previous video about using the time of day method to estimate direction, uh, specifically the watch dial method or the time method. Um, in that earlier video, I included a, a statement at the end that this method only works in the northern hemisphere and that's true for the version I presented there but there is another variation that does work in the southern hemisphere just as well as the other one works in the north so in this video I'll explain the simple difference between the two versions and illustrate them using an animation then it's up to the user you to figure out which one of the two is appropriate for your part of the world the two factors that determine which method is appropriate for you and how well it works are distance from the equator and in some places the season of the year. The zones of least reliability are the north and south tropics between the 23 and a half degrees north and 23 and a half degrees south latitude. For example in the tropics if you're standing south of the equator in late December you might need to use the northern hemisphere version to accurately determine the direction uh, by this watch dial method and then the reverse would be true or could be true if hiking in the northern tropics in late June the easiest way to be sure which method is appropriate is to to do a test by facing the Sun at high noon and then using a compass to determine whether you're facing north or south. So if you are facing south you need to use the northern hemisphere method and if you find you're facing north you need to use the southern hemisphere method. I know you're saying well if I have a compass I don't need to use this method. Well that's true but, but what you're doing here is just calibrating yourself for the area so if and when you find yourself without a compass you, you have uh, the knowledge that you need or just forget this method entirely for the tropics and use the sun tracking method instead. It's always reliable. Here is an animation illustrating the northern and southern hemisphere versions of the watch dial method for determining directions. The two versions are very similar differing in just a couple of aspects. As I described in my earlier video the northern hemisphere version uses the hour hand to aim at the Sun and the line midway between the hour hand and the 12 points south. Here's the technique illustrated with an animation. After orienting the watch face horizontally to the ground you rotate the watch so the hour hand points directly at the Sun. Next imagine a line running from the watch center through the 12 and then estimate the approximate midpoint on the arc between the hour hand and the 12. Last, envision a line extending from the center of the watch through that midpoint. That line is pointing approximately south. In the southern hemisphere version, it's the 12 position on the watch dial, not the hour hand, that is aimed at the sun and the line extending from the center of the watch face halfway between the 12 and the hour hand points north instead of south. Once again an illustration. Begin by orienting the watch face horizontally to the ground then rotate the watch so the 12 not the hour hand points directly at the Sun. Next imagine a line running from the watch center through the hour hand then just as in the other version, estimate the approximate midpoint between the 12 and the hour hand and the last step in your mind's eye extend a line from the watch center through that midpoint. That line is pointing approximately north not south. I usually then draw my substitute compass on the ground or in the snow just in case I need it for later reference. Now if you're not sure which of these two variations is correct for your location, I suggest you try them both and then 
and then compare them against the sun tracking method. If I'm on the move, I, I prefer to use the watch dial method over the sun tracking technique because I, I don't have to stop and wait 15 to 20 minutes each time to get a reading. So by stopping just once at the beginning to make sure which watch dial method uh, is actually correct, I can then rely on the, the watch dial method for the rest of my travel. I hope this video helps clarify some of the questions you may have had in my earlier version. Uh, there's no substitute for actual field experience, so, so get out there and try these methods of primitive pathfinder navigation for yourself. Have fun and be safe in the great outdoors.